So this laptop is running Windows 10 S, and I'll just minimize a bunch of stuff. And so you'll see the first most important thing is that it's Windows. It runs like Windows. It's the Windows people are used to. And so somebody that didn't necessarily know would be like, oh yeah, it's Windows. Like I don't know any different, right? They would go in here and they would um, run PowerPoint. And uh, you'll see that it, you know, it runs Microsoft Office just like people are used to. And so, you know, much like anybody would do PowerPoint, I can, you know, oh, this is the first time we've run Office on here. Um, you can see here I'm logged in as Tucker Kelly. He's one of the students in the school. Um, you can see here that I pushed a bunch of important, you know, the, the apps for my school down here. And now one of the big differences between Windows 10 and Windows 10 S is that Windows 10 S only runs verified applications from the, the Microsoft Store. And so if I go into the store, you'll see that you know, these are the apps that I'm used to. You also see, because this is set up like a student PC, I have my school's applications in a special tab here. And my administrator has put these here using, uh, using Intune and the, and the Microsoft Store for Business. And so here, or Microsoft Store for Education rather, here you can see all the apps that my IT have put down on this machine and so I can go use these to um, you know, go do interesting stuff. And so from that standpoint, it's Windows. It runs like Windows, it runs the Edge browser, it runs Microsoft Office, and lots of other apps from the store. Now the time, you know, the biggest difference someone would see is when they go and they try to say install a, an application off the web and what happens is it will tell them oh you can't install that kind of app and if you want we can you know we can do a quick demo of that. but like let's say you just did a quick search for um, Adobe Reader and you went here Make the package a little smaller for faster download. I'm just going to turn this stuff off. Say install now, and it'll download. And then I'll try and run it, and you'll see what the experience is when you try to run what we call non-verified app. So it's an app from the web that hasn't been put through the store and uh, and verified. So the user will see a pop-up. Yeah. So here, watch this. When I try to run this. For security and performance, Windows 10 S only runs verified apps from the store. And so then if you click here, get the app, it takes you to the page that is that app, right? And so now you're getting the verified version, and you're not getting a version from the web that maybe has extra services and extra pop-ups. And what it does is it has the net effect of making your system just run faster over time. Because lots of apps have background software that is doing like, oh, you know, they wake up and say, hey, I need to be updated. And then the next app is like, hey, I need to be updated. When apps come through the store, they all get updated through the store. So they're not doing stuff in the background. They also run inside a sandbox so that they, you know, the user's protected. Like it's more secure. Yeah, it's more secure. It so means that they don't slow. It's more secure compared to like the standard Windows 10 because it runs in its own app sandbox? I would say that they're both capable of being the same security. This one has the guardrails on it. It helps you stay in that more secure mode. If you're an experienced user, you can run Windows 10 Pro in a very secure way, and it's you know one of the most secure OSs you can run. But this kind of helps you keep the guardrails on. So the devices come with Windows 10 S installed? All the devices we have here come with Windows 10 S pre-installed from the OEM. And the user could upgrade to Pro? And the user can switch to Pro. From the Windows Store? Uh, yeah, it'll come from the Windows Store. And so some devices will include a free upgrade. More premium devices will include a free upgrade or free switch to Pro. And in the case of schools, schools, if they find an app that they just have to have and install, they can switch devices, switch Windows 10 S devices to Pro for free. Yeah. And so that makes it a no risk choice for schools. It's like just use S. And if you have like a class or a lab or a teacher who has a very specific app they need that you can't get through the store, you can switch to Pro 
and so it's sort of a no-lose proposition for the school. So all the Office apps come pre-installed on Windows 10 S? They'll come through the store as well. You know, some OEMs will choose to pre-install them some more, but we've made it so easy for schools to push out the apps that they need. You can see here this school essentials section here. That's all been pushed there and, and set up by uh, Set Up School PCs, that USB provisioning tool, and by Intune for Education, our new cloud-based management tool for schools. And so I always like to tell people, like, I can go from no infrastructure to setting up a school in the cloud with students and teachers and classes and being ready to, to hand out devices in about an hour. And like we've got a guidance stack up there that makes it super easy for people to go do. So, you know, we made we made Windows more streamlined, more secure. We think we've got a platform that's better for delivering outcomes with learning tools and Minecraft. And we made it super easy for schools to deploy. We think you know that combination is just going to be just the right thing. And the battery life in Windows 10 is about the same as you would expect the Windows 10 on a Windows 10 device. I think that out of the gate, it would be about the same. But if you look at a machine after 100 days of use, where you've installed all these apps that run in the background, those things can eat the battery life. And so this one will have the same battery life after 100 days that it had when it started, right? It won't, it won't get slowed down. It won't be burning extra battery life doing stuff in the background because the apps are verified by the store. And Windows 10 S would run on all kinds of processors like or Absolutely. Only, or only cell run or no, no, no. Well, it runs all, on all processors. It runs on it the, runs on the, the surface, surface laptop, yeah. and that's running a Core i7, very high-powered machine. We've got some uh, OEM machines out here from, from uh, Toshiba and uh, Fujitsu, and they're running you know, Core i processors, and so it runs great on high-performing machines as well. I mean, it's Windows. It's just, it's just protected and runs verified apps. And so it's more streamlined, it's more secure, but it's Windows. And so, you know, devices that can run Windows run Windows 10 S really well. Right, thank you so much. Yeah, you bet, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course.